I'ma still be like this. Comfort zone. We season, it, we cook it, we eat it. it. Season, we cook it, we eat it. Hey, drizzle, hey. A drizzle, a pop. A drizzle, a pop. A drizzle, a drizzle, a drizzle, a pop. Hey, my JCZ fam. Hey, y'all. Hey, how have you guys been? Welcome back to Jill's Comfort Zone. And if you are new here with me, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so, so, so thankful to have you guys here. So, I am finally here. I was not able to do Happy Friday, but it is a blessing um, just to be before you today. Um, a little under the weather, business has been busy, life has been busy, but amen, I am pushing through, through it all, okay? I, first, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all of the great dads out there. Keep doing your thing. Keep loving on your children. Keep guiding them the way uh, that a child should be led, okay? Just keep up the great work and keep encouraging our children to keep being greatness and loving their beauty and um, using the gifts that the Lord has gave them, all right? um also i would like to say wow happy juneteenth listen i missed it all uh yeah so they made juneteenth a federal holiday okay so that's a step towards progression and um still a long way to go uh we have a lot of work to do and so it's a blessing for any step but that's not all mean that the doors are still closed to us uh you know with freedom because for me i don't know about anybody else but uh, i say we free-ish we are not totally free yet amen okay we have some long a long way to go well, anyway guys i am here and i am going to be reading out of i wrote this down because i did want to talk about this and i didn't want to forget anything okay and so uh let's get into it i hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend i hope that your week will be blessed um i hope that this message will touch someone out there today and um may it bring you joy closure peace and whatever it is on your heart that you need to go in and fix my hands guys are so messed up so um sorry for no recipe videos um i will be getting back to it soon as my hands as you can see they're like stiff and swollen um so i'm getting there d diets i got my bracelet on that you brought for me for my birthday so thank you um i am going to be reading out the psalms 109 5 okay uh, so that's where we will be heading and those of you it feels like I miss you guys I really do and it feels like forever since the last time I have seen you but um, my uh, YouTube fam I do follow on you um, uh, Instagram so don't forget follow me at Jill's comfort zone if you have Instagram and follow me over there so I had posted a scripture just to highlight Psalms 105 I mean 109 5 okay um, and it says, they repay me evil for good and hatred for my friendship. And I was highlighting, you know, just to remember, you know, that first of all, like the topic of today is, it's working for my good. Okay. At, don't you know how many of you know that the Lord is always working for your good rather he opens some doors close some doors and whatever it is remove some people 
uh, put some people in your lives. Uh, rather, it is, um, you know, closure to a new job, an old job, and welcoming you to a new job or a new position or t entrepreneur in your own business, owning it. Amen. So he is always working for our good. Okay, so that was from Psalms 105, I mean 109.5, okay? Now, I just want to just say, he is always working for our good once again. We can't change how people treat us or think of us. In this world we live in, some things will never change as long as you are doing the Lord's work. You know the devil stay busy when you are doing an assignment that the Lord has placed you on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, it's going to come there. They're going to push you. People going to do things to aggravate you. Their job going to get intensified. You know, and, 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 and you know, people start because he uses. Listen, that's why it's good to pray over your circle of your circle and your circle could include it's not with just friends it's co-workers and you know who you involve with. we all got to work with people but you don't have to deal with the nonsense you get what i'm saying and let the they disturb your peace so the, the devil stays busy when you are doing the lord's work okay and so yes we all stumble and you and lose our way along the way but don't expect some to see you or forgive you the way the Lord does. You know, because we can go to the Lord for everything, okay? Any and everything. And we can repent. We can just pray. We can just, you know, let the Lord know. He already know our sins, but say it out loud. You know, you can go to him with any and everything and the Lord forgives you. You know, that, that is the reason why, you know, he sacrificed his only son, Jesus Christ. You know, so we can be forgiven of our sins. So don't forget, you, but human, human, we're supposed to forgive. And we are supposed to, you know, love on one another. But are we doing that? Are we really doing that every day? You know, and, and, and forgiveness is hard. And he knows that. But you got that. Always have that open door to go to the Lord in prayer. And ask for his forgiveness. And say it out loud. And the thing is, you have to change. You know, work on it. You know, we are human. We make mistakes. He don't expect us to be perfect. None of that. Okay? So you must stay grounded on the road that the Lord has placed you on. Some will understand, some won't. But that is not your task. Amen? It's okay. Stay the course. Keep going and never mind the whispers that's go that, that goes on behind those closed doors, okay? You just keep going. That shall prepare you to speak wisely and appropriately when the time is right, okay? That way, you are enlightening others and not condemning them or your legacy, amen? Because remember, you have a legacy. How you want to be seen when you are no longer here? Your legacy says a lot about you and then no, and then I don't care. You say it doesn't affect your family or your, your, your children. It does. Cause you know why people will judge and put and we shouldn't be doing that. But the how you live, that is how you represent your flock. Amen. And in your children. So people will look at them th through your legacy. And we not, like I said, we're not supposed to, but we do. Some of us do. I, I know I have been guilty before. And then I check myself. You know what I'm saying? What's that saying of, you know, 
who you surround yourself around. Be careful who you surround yourself around because people will see you as that surrounding, right? So you got to be careful sometimes because people will judge you by the cover. Now, you can do a lot of things in this world, but to secure your legacy, please get them footprints, rearrange them, walk somewhere else, move somewhere else, do something else, you know, but Make sure you're leaving a legacy that your children can sit and be smiling and, and be proud of saying, that's my mama. That's my daddy. <laughs> that's my grandmother. That's my aunt. That's my sister. That's my brother. You know what I mean? So we, we got to be mindful of that. So to protect your legacy, that is not your business or nothing for you, your control of how people speak of or on you it is not you just have to make sure that in the time is right that you just speak appropriately if it's needed to be spoken because everything don't need to be spoken about okay amen but we'll make sure it's appropriate and non-condemning okay and it aligns your approach to the situation and it protects your legacy okay so Pray your way through it and recognize that all won't be receptive of your deliverance. That's another key. Everyone is not going to be accepting of your deliverance. And I don't expect anybody to be. You know, just be respectful and 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 pray that you know the that they don't see it in an enough, you know, in a right way. You know, I mean in a wrong way. And then, you know, everybody, I don't say everything to everybody. You know, like I'm not going to say certain stuff. I'm not going to say certain things to somebody I don't know. Sorry, excuse me. You know, certain things we're not going to speak of. You don't know that person. So you're not going to say certain things. You'll take things lightly. But then, you know, you do speak to somebody, somebody you care for. and You're just looking out for them. Now, you know, the deliverance may be different sometime, depending on the topic in the moment. But we still have to remind ourselves we still must, you know, and especially for someone like me with a strong willed voice and talk loud I'm so loud I have to be careful you know what I mean so nothing worthy of having and pursuing that is pleasing to God is always comfortable nothing worthy of having and or in pursuing that is pleasing to God is always comfortable you're gonna get uncomfortable people there's things gonna happen in your life where it's not gonna be always comfortable things gonna be said to you that is not always comfortable uh you're gonna lose and gain and you know shifting it's gonna be different shifts that's not always comfortable so you know where that's why you got to stay prayed up you gotta stay prayed up it's in the Bible. It is all in the Bible. You know, people are going to, listen, people are going to put you in positions where you need to think first before reacting. Remember, you have a duty to please God first. Then there's your legacy, once again, to protect. Okay, amen, amen. So we just got to keep this and things shifts and all of that. We can't go with the shift. Sometimes you got to fight against the current too. Not just roll in with the current. That ain't all, you know, mm -mm. make sure that's a sign of God that he's rolling. He wants you to roll with that current. Sometimes you got to go against the current to get through something. Okay, and you push your way past some foolishness. Uh-uh. Listen, you're not you're not here to prove anything. To, excuse me. You're not here to prove anything. 
you're here to try to make sense make it make sense prove what you know you you listen your proof is in the work your proof is in your assignments that you completed your proof is how you walk through life your proof is how you handle things your proof is in your deliverance at times. That's why we have to stay prayed up and calm down and think. And don't respond to everything. Because that's what some people want you to do. You know? And then you be looking crazy. Okay? You can't know if you don't ask. So let's not assume things either all the time. You need to ask. You know, you you got to go to the go to the Lord or go to the source and ask or go and ask your teacher. Same thing in school. I tell my kids that all the time. Don't sit there and let it go over your head. If you missing one third of the problem, how are you going to solve it? You wasting time sitting there instead of raising your hand. Hmm. Look at the footprints, not the verbiage. People talk a lot of stuff. People say a lot of stuff. But look inside and look in the, at the footprints and look at their movements. Look at it. Not the verbiage. People say a lot of stuff. But you have to look at the footprints. Look at the footwork in the work, in the movements, in the body language. That's very important, guys. And you all know the sto that the storyline pulls you in each and every time. The storyline. You know those storylines. Did my man leave me? Oh my God, I got something to tell y'all what happened last night. You know the storylines. <laughs> but it'll pull you in each and every time you start clicking those videos, right? <laughs> oh my God, my husband left me. Click. You know, stuff like that. But when it doesn't add up, believe it. You know, you can tell, but believe it. It don't add up. Don't, don't be sitting here studying that. If it don't add up, just, just move along. That ain't your story to even solve anyway. <laughs> Keep mind, stay in your lane and mind your business. Yes, ma'am. Go to the source. If it if it concerns you, if it's concerning you, go to the source. You know, that's all I have to say. Take the time to get to know the actor in the story. <laughs> And lastly, time is precious. Don't spend it on useless entertainment, gossip, and nothing that is helping you grow. If it ain't making money, it don't make sense. If it ain't paying your bills, ain't none of my concern. Okay? I ain't nothing to do with me. So. Work it for your good. That's it. Because it's a God working it. He done worked it out for your good. Okay, guys. I hope this is pleasing to you. You know, it's working for your good. So make sure you're working it for your good as well. Because if you just bouncing and, you know, God trying to put work this out and you just going against the grain and you just clashing, nothing is going to work at all. <laughs> He worked it out, but he told you to go right, you went left or straight and kept going. Or you went back there. Mm-mm. You're going to keep clashing. So anyway, do something in your life today and work it out for your good. Amen. So I'm not going to keep you guys. Once again, I want to say thank you guys for being here and coming and showing love even though i have not been on the set i promise i will get back to the kitchen soon i promise i promise i promise i do have another video coming for my self-love as well 
And I thank you so much for all your prayers and thoughts. I hope that you guys have a blessed week. I hope that this is a kicker to initiate that something that needed to just light that fire or put out a fire. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming. Don't forget if you're not subscribed and your heart feels content to do so, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there and turn it gray and click the notification bell so you can be reminded of when I come to you with another video. I will be on a short break i working over time my health and things are going on you know in family behind the scenes so i will drop videos as freaking as i can you know i only post three days a week anyway on monday wednesdays and fridays so you know i will be slacking for a moment i have a lot going on here okay so i appreciate your patience and understanding and i love you guys and have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day evening whatever time this drops know that i love you guys and i'm always on instagram so go over there and show me some love and say hello and i'm always checking my facebook jill's comfort zone page as well and if you haven't purchased jcz merch now go on over to jcz underscore merch and check out the merch that we have and hit me up in my dms and purchase you something today anyway i love you guys stay blessed and peace out Later, leave a comment and share me out to your family and friends. Tell them to come on over so I can love on them while they love on me. Oh, and thanks again for all the birthday love. Mm -hmm.